The Watson Foundation says, like right on their website, that they invest in people, they invest in you and not your project. And they genuinely mean that. And that's something that I'd heard, but I didn't really fully comprehend until the end of the project. Because something that um, I realized and something that was really hard at first is like, I was arriving in countries just with myself and like my suitcase. And my, I wasn't connected to an organization. I didn't have me mentors. And like, no one knows about the Watson Foundation. They have no idea what you're doing. Um, it's a very foreign concept to them to like go and travel alone and study this topic that's sort of, you know. And so in every single place that I went to, I'd have to like present myself to people or to organizations and everything began and ended with me. Like I had to explain why I was there. I had to advocate for myself, communicate, um, motivate myself. Um, and at first it was really overwhelming and pretty hard but by the end of it I think I gained a lot of confidence and a lot of trust in myself that has been already very valuable moving forward. Um, so I think as an individual it was you know like I mentioned before I had a personal connection to India and it was um, something a place that I really wanted to go and get to know better because it was like felt like it was a part of myself that I hadn't really connected with. Um, and so getting to go there and having a specific purpose, you know, I think gave me an opportunity to kind of find a part of myself um, that I, you know, only kind of vaguely understood. Um, and so, you know, I think it developed me in that way and I got to go to parts of India where I had family who I hadn't met. I think that this program has taught me a lot about what I want to do and it's also introducing me to plenty of things that I'm realizing that, oh, okay, it's good to know that I don't want to do that. For example, to be completely honest, I, I'm i really grateful to be in the Netherlands, but the, the more time that elapses, I'm starting to realize, oh, I don't, I can't really see myself building a permanent life here. So that's really good to know though, because now when I think ahead to the future, I don't have to worry about whether or not I want to stay here. I can think about programs elsewhere and either return to the United States, see somewhere new in the US, maybe go to a different country. There are a lot of experiences that I've still yet to have. So personally, it's been really enlightening to see, you know, what works, what doesn't, what do I want from the future? And what am I willing to leave behind as I move towards the future? It, it taught me a lot about perseverance, first of all, um, and flexibility um, to be comfortable um, fending for myself in, in um, environments that um, are very, very unfamiliar um, and may pose various challenges um, from day to day. Uh, but to kind of adapt a mi adopt a mindset um, that says um, it's okay to not know everything that's going on in the moment um, as long as you stay focused um, and know where you want to end up. And so I, I learned a lot about um, just kind of rolling with the punches um, and, um, and yeah, being open to spontaneous, you know, surprises um, and being okay with uh, being uncomfortable for an extended period of time. I think coming to Northern Ireland as foreigners who didn't really know too much about the situation and then having to learn really quickly about the environment there, the things you should be careful of saying, things to keep in mind, especially when you're learning about a really sensitive topic in a country and region you're unfamiliar with. And so I think that definitely can be applied to a lot of different areas. So just being careful before judging a situation and also not being afraid to take time to understand a situation or interaction and keep in mind that you might not always fully understand something, but there's usually still something to be gained from that experience.